So in this problem, we have to find value of x. So this is a relatively tricky problem, you can see. And we have an expression and basically equation. And then it is given that x is a positive integer. So in this problem, we have to find value of x. But x is positive as well as this is integer. So now you can solve this problem just by looking this problem. So now you see this contains a term 3 raised to the power x. And the right hand side we have 35. So if you see x is equals to 1. So 3 raised to the power 1 will be 3. 3 raised to the power 2 will be 9. 3 raised to the power 3 will be 27 and 3 raised to the power 4 that is 27 times 3 that is 81. So if x is 4 in that case 3 raised to the power 4 is 81. So this term will be 81. Forget about this term. But this side we have only 35. So x cannot be 4 or x cannot be greater than 4. So x has to be less than 4. So one conclusion that I have that is for this expression x is less than 4. X, x is less than 4. Now so what are the possibility x can be 0 x can be 1, x can be 2 or x can be 3. So now it is easy to check because we have been given that x is positive integer. x cannot be 0. So you can check each value by putting this. So 3 raised to the power 0 plus 2 raised to the power 0 which is basically equals to 2 does not satisfy this equation. That is right side is 35. So x cannot be 0. Now x is equals to 1 that is 3 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 1 that is simply 5 which is not equal to 35. So x is 1 is also not a solution. So x is equals to 2. So 3 raised to the power 2 plus 2 raised to the power 2 that is 9 plus 4 which is equals to 13 which is also not equals to 35 this means this is also not a solution. Now x equals to 3 so this is x equals to 0, this is x equals to 1, this is x equals to 2 and this is x equals to 3. So 3 raised to the power 3 plus 2 raised to the power 3 that is 27 plus 8 which is equals to 35. So this is correct. This means x is equals to 3 is a solution. So is a solution for this expression or this equation. So sometime you have to see what are the corresponding conditions that are given. So based upon that condition your solution or the answer domain for the answer is very limited. So sometime it is easier to just plug these values and find the correct answer. So I hope you like this video and if you like please share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.